Okay, so today's experiment we have uh, high voltage only to the cell and we're using two microwave oven transformers bolted together. That joins the secondaries by the fact that they're bolted together and the secondaries join to the iron. Um, it's probably not the best way to do it. I'd probably be better off disconnecting uh, top and bottom and I say that because when I tried to get high voltage by bringing Lawton circuit into the primary side and going onto the top and joining the bottoms I got no high voltage when I went uh, bottom side top side and joined it on the diagonal high voltage uh, okay so gas discharge tube diode so we come directly from um, the output of the uh, secondaries and here we go we'll fire that up uh, it makes a bit of a horrible noise and I've got to dial that in so we start getting sparks in the gas tube now this is distilled water triple rinsed so there's no ions in there so it's remarkable that anything's happening So I'm just messing around here with the uh, size of the density of the um, pulses in the train and when we get to the point that we load up there we start to pop into that similar to what we saw yesterday on the uh, chokes. And what we're running at 2.5 2.7 depending so uh, yeah I'm really not interested in measuring the gas at this point until I see so much gas that I can't actually see the top of the cell then I'll be worried about measuring gas volume output at this point uh, just eyeballing what's coming off is enough to give you an idea of whether things are heading in the right direction or not. Again, distilled water. Remarkable that it's doing anything. Um, I can't really scope shot that. I've got a probe on here with a gas tube which lets me get close to high voltage without frying things. So blue line there is the high voltage. That's on the 10 times I've got no way of calibrating. <laughs> right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up if you like.